I, Sarah McBride, do proudly swear. And with that, now State Senator Sarah McBride became the highest ranking transgender elected official in America. She'll serve residents in much of northern Delaware. First and foremost, of course, COVID has to be our priority. The first thing Sarah mentions, not her identity. National news crews are here for this. She gets why it's a big deal, but her new job is, in her mind, a bigger one. Nothing else will matter as it relates to my identity, as it relates to making sure that uh, I do justice by the LGBTQ community if I'm not, first and foremost, doing the best job I can as a state senator. What, what you guys need to do? She does think about young people like the teenager who held the Bible as she took her oath. Trinity is also transgender. She is understandably inspired by what she sees in Sarah. We can show those people who don't believe in us that we do mean something and that we can make a change to this world. Sarah is leading the way for the trans community, but lots of people have her back. This tweet went viral. Someone asked her if she's a boy or a girl. She simply replied, I'm a senator. She was pleased to see how many voters in her piece of Delaware clearly cared more about her views than her gender. She wants a fair shot to do the job like anyone else deserves. And if she does well, it can only mean good things for the young people looking up to her. It's my desire that, that the election in November, that today's swearing in, and that the work ahead of us helps send a, a small but potentially life saving message to a young LGBTQ person that our democracy is big enough for them too and that their voice matters. And today, thanks to Sarah, Trinity felt a little more confident with her own voice. It's still ways to go, but it's getting there. This moment leave all In Claymont, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.